Hi, I'm Joy Schramm with TheBayNet.com and thank you for joining me on this edition of Election Watch 2018. Joining me this morning is Pete Cucinata and he is running for the Clerk of Circuit Court. Thank you for joining me this morning. Thanks for having me. And tell me a little bit about your experience and why you're running for this position. Uh, Joy, uh, currently I've been with the Circuit Court for 14 plus years. Uh, I'm the Drug Court Manager. Uh, and I've worked directly with judges in the circuit court. Uh, prior to that, I have a 40 plus year uh, professional career as a trained administrator, manager, and supervisor. I've also been responsible for, and I currently manage large budgets. Uh, one of the things I looked at at entering this race was the actual requirements that should be in place for the clerk of the court. The clerk of the circuit court is basically an administrative position. It's not your typical uh, uh, political type sure. of, of, of office. And uh, when I looked and, and, and I've been around the court system uh, for 40 plus years, and I looked at my qualifications and it, it grew clear to me that uh, historically what's happened for the clerk of the circuit court is it's come from within the clerk's office that a clerk would retire and generally the deputy clerk, for whatever reason, would then enter and win the next election. Never has there been an opportunity that we have in this election. And one of the reasons I'm seeking out the office is we have no incumbent, uh, the incumbent retired. We have no deputy clerk who chose to run. The chief clerk is not running. So I looked at this as an opportunity for not only the circuit court, which is, this is the clerk of the circuit court. So the circuit, uh, the clerk's office is there to primarily support the operations of the uh, circuit court, along with other mandated uh, requirements by law they have to do for the citizens of St. Mary's sure. County. So I looked at this as an opportunity uh, to bring my experience and my skill set to what I believe the clerk of the court should have, and that is strong administrative uh, background, an ability to manage a large staff, which I have in the past uh, managed a staff comparable in this size, and have a, an understanding of the management principles of, of fostering an environment where uh, in the workplace, staff feel that they are uh, not coming to a job just to collect a paycheck, but they feel like they should be invested in the procedures and the policies and what's going on at their workplace. And I don't currently see that. Um, and I think we have a unique opportunity in St. Mary's County in this election to actually elect a professional administrator. And it may be for the first time in the history of St. Mary's County we've had this opportunity uh, for that to happen. So uh, it was a rather easy decision for me to make uh, to enter the race. Once I saw uh, the needs of the clerk's office going forward, the background I would bring to it, uh, and my ability and understanding of the circuit court. Uh, I've been in the circuit court 14 plus years, as I, as I mentioned. I work directly for judges. And in those 14 and a half years, uh, every evaluation I've had, have, I've been rated outstanding, which is the highest you can get. So I know that my work product working closely with the circuit court, which again is the primary customer of the sure. clerk's office, is well understood. Uh, I get along well with the judges. That transition will be, will be a, a, uh, a one that will be smooth, that may not be with another candidate. Uh, in my current position, I also am required to work with many agencies that make up the drug courts. Mm -hmm. uh, so I, pull, I have to do agreements every year with the state's attorney's office, the public defender's office, the sheriff's office, many entities. And, um, and so I have a, a very vast working knowledge. I've worked with state and local officials. Uh, and, uh, uh, and, and when you put it all together, it, it really speaks to what the clerk of the court should be. Well, there's a lot involved with clerk of the court that I would imagine a lot of people don't even realize what is all handled. It's not just courts, paperwork, and things like that. You handle deeds and taxes and even marriage licenses. Absolutely. The clerk is mandated by law to, to handle a variety of functions. 
as you mentioned, most people would, uh, would connect the clerk's office to going to court. And, and if a case does go to a circuit court, whether it's a criminal case or a civil case, the clerk's office maintains those files and goes into the courtroom to assist the judges throughout the court process. We also, as you mentioned, are re responsible for maintaining our other precious documents like our land records and deeds. And if we are fortunate and we, we choose to be married, uh, that's where you go to get your marriage license process or a new business would go to the clerk's office as well to apply for a business license. So there's a variety of, of customers that the clerk's office has to be prepared to, to, to deal with, not only circuit court and its employees, but also everyday citizens that are coming into the courthouse for their own personal business. Okay. Last summer, the uh, courts went digital. They're trying to go paperless, yes. and a lot of information is available online. How do you plan to continue that into the digital age in this 21st century? It, it's, a, it's, a, it's an ongoing process. It's a still unfolding. Uh, many of the staff are still getting acquainted with the system as well as the, the judiciary side of, that's utilizing it. it. It will continue to move forward uh, at this point in time uh, where it will be opened up to more and more uh, accessibility. It is limited now, uh, but it will eventually open up where more uh, non-judiciary or non-legal persons will have the ability to go in and utilize the system even more than it is now because it is still still sort of contained in, as to who has accessibility to use it not necessarily to access it but to use it is a whole different process that we want to go through and that will continue to unfold over the next several years okay great Pete well again the primaries are on June 26 so thank you for joining us and good luck in the race if you would like to learn more about Pete and the other candidates running for the various offices this political season please visit thebaynet.com and of course if you have any questions for any of the candidates that you would like us to ask feel free to email us at elections at thebaynet.com thanks for joining us